Now it's time for show and tell on Noggin. Hey, let's figure out what this is. Hmm, I see a black circle. Pink. Oh, it's a face. It's a pig. But look, it's not a real pig. It's something you put money in. What kind of pig do you keep your money in? A bank? A piggy bank. Fantastic. It's a piggy bank. You saved the day today on Show and Tell. <laughs> you saw Oswald in the octagon. Do you remember how many sides an octagon has? I'll give you a clue. Oswald has the same number of legs. Wow, impressive. And here comes our friend with the eight legs now. Oswald, coming up next on Noggin. This show is made for Noggin by Nick Jr. Oswald and friends are saying goodbye for now. But you can visit Big City anytime by going to Noggin.com. Just click on Oswald. Hello, Moose Moose here. Hey, how'd you like to play the big, bigger, biggest game? Hey, I know. We'll play with Maggie, the Ferocious Beast, and Hamilton Hawks, too. If you're ready, say ready. Ready. Whoa, I guess you are ready. In fact, you are prepared. Okay, here are Maggie, the Beast, and Hamilton. Which one of them is in the biggest box? Is it Maggie? No! My, you are clever. Smart, in fact. Maggie's in a big box, but it's not the biggest box of the three. Hey, how about Hamilton Hawks? Is he in the biggest box? No! Oh, my, there's just no tricking you. In fact, you can't be fooled. Now, Here's the beast. Is that ferocious fella in the biggest box? Yes! Fantastic! Yes, the beast is the one in the biggest box. But guess what? They're all coming up in just a bit. Now it's time for Art Alive on Noggin. Fish with lemon sauce. Fish delicious. Ooh, go away, mouse. <coughs> and what about the dessert? Hmm. Fruit 
it's perfect for dessert. Hmm. That's a good idea. Banana. Famous fruit salad. Wow! Go away, mouse! Mm, I told you to go away! I'm so hungry! If I don't get some food soon, I might faint! Okay, do you like cheese? Cheese? Cheese is my favorite! Cheese for me! I love cheese! Cheese for me! I make cheese! Now you tell me. Wet, wet. The world is wet. Dry. We used to have to get up before sunrise, walk 10 miles to get to school, and 10 miles back again. Uphill, both ways, in the snow. In a blizzard. Barefoot. <laughs> Barefoot. Jennifer, you ready for noggin? Uh-huh. Children can master as much in their first five years as they will for the rest of their lives. Give your preschooler engaging ways to connect their curiosity to learning and their learning to their world with Noggin. Noggin brings the wonder, variety, and stimulation of preschool right into your living room seven days a week, completely commercial free. Maybe we should have taken a bus. There was a bus? Noggin. It's like preschool on TV. All day, every day from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Well, we certainly had fun playing Big Bigger Biggest, didn't we, Z? Z? Well, it looks like Z is frightened of that ferocious beast. In fact, Z's scared. But you aren't afraid, are you? I certainly hope not, because Maggie and the ferocious beast are coming up next. A Noggin. Howdy! Hey there! In other words, hello! Are you ready to play Name the Color? Look, it's the duck from Little Bear. Can you tell me what color she is? Yellow! yellow. That's right! The duck is yellow. Now here's the snake from Little Bear. What color is he? You betcha. He's green. One more. Here we go. What color is Little Bear? Brown. Terrific. Little Bear is brown. And that brown Little Bear is coming up. Now it's story time on Noggin. The story of Mei Lin and the Magic Paintbrush. In China, there once lived a young field worker named Mei Lin, who dreamed of being a great artist. But he was so poor, he could not buy a brush to paint with. One night, he was visited by an old wizard. You have worked very hard, and you have earned this, he said, handing Mei Lin a beautiful brush. Use it wisely, said the wizard, for it has great power. On his wall, Mei Lin painted a rooster. Suddenly, the rooster leapt off the wall and flew away. It was a powerful brush indeed. The next day, Mei Lin came upon a farmer struggling to plow his rice paddy. With his brush, he painted a water buffalo to pull the plow, and Mei Lin used the brush to help many others. When the greedy Mandarin, who ruled the land, heard of the magic brush, he ordered Mei Lin to paint him a pile of coins. Mei Lin refused, and the Mandarin threw him in jail. 
That night, Mei Lin used his magic brush to draw a door and escape. But soon the Mandarin caught Mei Lin. This time, he took the brush away. But in his greedy hands, the brush was useless. The Mandarin handed the brush to Mei Lin. Paint me a mountain of gold. Mei Lin painted a mountain of gold in the middle of a great sea. He painted a ship to take the Mandarin to the mountain. When the Mandarin reached the gold, Mei Lin painted a dark cloud, which brought a great storm, destroying the boat and leaving the greedy Mandarin trapped forever, all alone on top of his mountain of gold. Mei Lin had used the brush wisely, indeed. The next one. My name is Andrea, and I'm going to tell you the story about the boy in the magic paintbrush. The boy loved music and he decided to paint a band. The boy painted the instruments and they came alive. First he painted a drum, rat a tat tat and then he painted a flute, and then he painted a horn, and a tambourine, then he painted a piano, and he played like this, and then he painted cymbals, they all made beautiful, sweet music. And then they made a show. The instruments played by themselves, so they went all over the world playing whatever you asked for. And whoever heard the music had to sing. La, 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 la. <laughs> and whoever heard the music had to dance. <laughs> and they made money to buy food for everyone who was hungry. And the boy was happy, and everyone who heard the music was happy, and the instruments were happy, and they lived happily ever after the end. Hello there! It's Moose A. Moose. Want to come along with me? Let's see who we'll meet. Yes, you too, Z. A, B, C. C, who's here at Noggin. D, E, F, G. G, it's the tweenies jogging in. H, I, I can't wait to meet Miffy. J, K, L, M, N, O. Oh, my, she looks spiffy. P, Q, R. Are you here too, good friend? S, T, U. You know, Ubi. Got a greeting to send? V, W, X, Y. Why, look, Dora and Blue are coming too. There are so many friends coming to play with you. I think I've forgotten something. Now, well, what can it be? Oh, yes, that's it. Thank you, thank you. Z, your preschooler can find new things to think and do with new shows, new friends, and your Nick Jr. favorites on the new Noggin. It's like preschool on TV from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. every day. That's right, Z. Weekends, too. Now it's time for Critter Corner on Noggin. Well, hello, puppy. Don't be shy. Puppies are baby dogs who love to chew sticks. Though chewing ropes is just as nice. Chewing in general is what they like. Hey! Next on Noggin is our favorite brown little bear. Are you ready? Yeah! Looks like Z's ready too. Now it's time to take a field trip on Noggin. Here's a little girl and her daddy. They've come to a shoe store to buy her a pair of shoes. First, the clerk in the store takes off her old shoes. They are too small. He's going to help find a pair that fit. Next, he measures her foot to see what size she needs now. She chooses some shoes she likes, and then she tries on different sizes to find the pair that fit best. Yippee! She's found a pair of shoes that fit.
She doesn't need those old shoes that don't fit anymore. She's got brand new shoes to wear. Hmm, what's the weather like today? Will you go outside or stay in to play? Is it sunny or is it snowy? Is it rainy or is it blowy? But whatever the weather, I still have to say, isn't this a wonderful day? N-O-G-G-I-N, noggin. Hi, everybody. Time to use your noggin. How do you use your noggin, you say? Well, here's how you use it every day. Use your noggin when you write a letter. Use your noggin when you make it better. Use your noggin when you play guitar. Use your noggin to spot a star. When you make a scene, use your noggin when you mix up green. Use your noggin to play a game. When you use your noggin, it's never the same. Use your noggin to sing a song. Ask another noggin to sing along. Use your noggin with your computer. Hey, that's Z. What could be cuter? Use your noggin. That's what it's for. I'm using my noggin. Are you using yours? Booby dance. Ubi dance, you dance. You dance. Ubi dance, you dance together. Everyone can play along with Ubi. Now there's more Ubi, more games, more you, when Ubi gets his very own half hour show. Ubi, you, friends. <laughs> Ooh, every day and weekends, too, at 8.30 Eastern and Pacific, only on Noggin. What day is it today? Look at the calendar. What does it say? Today is Thursday. Thursday. It's an ours, yours, his, and hers day. It's a hello, madams, and howdy, sirs day. So stomp your feet and give a cheer. You know what I want to hear. Hooray! Hooray! Today is... Thursday! We're gonna say goodbye to the trees and bees Say goodbye to the hole with the ants and the mole We're gonna leave our paints, set them out to dry Put our pencils down and wave goodbye We'll wave goodbye to the number ten Say goodbye to all the numbers and then We'll say so long to A through Z until next time when you come with me It was a fun day But now it's a done day It's time to say goodbye It was great and we can't wait Till once again we all say hi But for now we'll say goodbye We must be on our way On our way we will shout I used my noggin today I used my noggin today It's now 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 Pacific Hold on while your entertainment loads You're in the end. Real life starts now. Pete and Pete will be right back. Stay tuned. Friday night. It's a night for dates. It's a night for friends. It's a night for letting your hair down. It's a night for living it up. Every Friday night starting at Only in the end
just hang out. Not really out, out. Yeah. No. No. I have. Yes, I with a girl. I don't really think anybody really goes on a date alone anymore, unless you're like older. <laughs> <laughs> the boys are not saying. No comment. They're more into the girls who like have pierced. Something serious right now. Not. Yeah. <laughs> Ugly. <laughs> of course. <laughs> now back to Pete and Pete. Being Eve is coming up next. After that, it's another episode of Being Eve. In the end. Hey, are you a twin? A teen? Or maybe just somebody in between? Dear God, help me. Are you hankering for a show you can really relate to? No. A show that's edgy. Then I've achieved my goal. Smart, sassy, even a little bit sarcastic. Thank you so much for all the adjectives. Then tune in weeknights at 9.30. There's no place left for me to hide. For a half hour of teen teen X. When this is all over, remind me to run screaming into the night. With Daria, your favorite edgy teen anti-heroine. Wow. She talks slow, thinks fast. Weeknights at 9.30, only in the end. I guess I can't stop you. What does your stuff say about you? Artistic, hardworking, weird, athletic, creative, very open-minded, smart, extreme, and nice kid. Hi, I'm Oliver, and this is my room. His personality would probably be funny. Probably the kind of kid that would like sports and like to go be outside a lot. I thought Oliver was creative. And he's kind of weird and spooky. Nice, kind of like extreme, sort of like that. But I think he definitely has his own opinion. He's very open-minded. I think I'm different than most other people since I like funny stuff and just things that make me laugh. Hell yeah. I can be goofy. Then like I'm acting and do voices and impressions and stuff. Just have a good time. What does your stuff say? Just a scratch. What's going on, Dylan? Cash broke up with me. I've got something in my eye. Thanks, thanks. Just deal. Fridays at 8.30 Eastern and Pacific. Only in the end. I listen to music and I dance. Like a song that I really like. Music. Hip-hop. Jazz. R&B. Rap. Happy music cheers me up. Put it on there TV and that usually gets me to a good mood. Singing and dancing. I like listening to music and drawing. I like to go on the computer and listen to music. I watch TV a lot. I watch cartoons with my friends. <laughs> I like to watch like karate movies like with Jackie Chan. I like to play video games. I play video games with my dad. I beat him in baseball. It's always a good feeling. If there's nothing good on it, I just read. I like to read books. I just, you know, relax it down on the couch and you read a book or something. Buying things, <laughs> shopping. Lots and lots of shopping. <laughs> baseball. I play first base. I love softball and basketball. Basketball. Playing tennis and swimming. I've been playing a lot of handball, football. And skating. Like uh, adrenaline. It gets you pumped up. Because you can do whatever you want. Probably go to sleep. Being Eve is next. In the end.